Wouldn't it be nice to avoid the nuisance of coughs, cold and flus? <laughs> Life comes to a standstill when your baby is sick. It's the season of sneezing and coughing. <laughs> but it's almost impossible to tell whether one has a flu or just a common cold. Cold is a general term. Common cold can be caused by many things. By far it is caused by so many normal cold viruses. And that's why you can get a cold every other week. But that is not one that is so serious. The one that is serious that causes the cold is the one that is caused by the influenza virus. This year is all right. Can we look in this year? Your ears are not paining now, isn't it? Come. But here I'm paining when I eat in so hard now. Okay. Most uncomplicated coughs can last between eight days to nine days. Twenty-five percent last for two weeks or more, while five to ten percent can last up to three weeks. Flu and common colds affect the respiratory tract and are caused by different viruses. Flu is caused by a stronger virus, which if not taken care of can develop into other complications like pneumonia, bacterial infections, which can lead to hospitalization. Flu can be a major problem, but we don't have the pandemic type at the moment. We are still getting a few cases of the, of, of the flu. Uh, but if you look for the flu, flu, flu kills much more than the common colds. She's been down with a sore throat. Um, she's lost her voice and she had a slight temperature when she came from school today. Initial signs of an influenza or the flu virus infection would be the child or the client or the patient will first start sneezing. Symptoms of flu are usually worse than common cold. They include fever, body aches, extreme fatigue and intense dry cough. Common cold usually comes with a running or stuffy nose. Influenza virus is prevalent in Kenya throughout the year. Tests can be done in the first few days of an illness to determine whether you or your family members don't have a flu. Children, people with immune problems and the elderly are susceptible to flu complications. Those children who have asthma or who have allergic rhinitis, if they get catch influenza virus, they are liable to succumb for it. If you're still unsure, visit your doctor. But the best way to avoid a flu is to get a flu shot and there's still time. The cold and flu season continues until the end of July. The only way to control influenza infection is number one, prevent transmission. Number two, more important, is prevent it by vaccination. In the cold season, uh, I think saying hello is a, is a bad thing. You should, you should, you should think about waving. The the best way to, to transmit flu is actually uh, by hand. More than even sneezing in your face. So if you shake hands, please wash your hands. Violet Otindo K24, Health Unlimited.